Hi everyone, this is Country Music News International. My name's Nigel Sharp, and today I am away, away across the old big pond uh, in the great state of Kentucky with Mr. Bobby Cyrus and Mrs. Teddy Cyrus. So, hi guys, how you doing? Good. I, I'm going to try my German. Right. Um, <laughs> Guten Tag. Is that correct? It's absolutely 100% spot on, okay. yes. So um, let's get the kind of thing about the, the famous family name out of the way, first of all, because I'm sure there's going to be people watching this and going, Cyrus, I've heard that name before <laughs> somewhere, you know? And, uh, so can you kind of recap for me what the kind of family connections are? It seems kind of complicated to me. Well, it's it's actually not. We're cousins. Our okay. we have a big family. The Cyruses are uh, we're a very close knit bunch, and um, we we typically don't get into uh, first and seconds and once removed and all that technical jargon. We're just family. Okay. And that's... yeah, so that's that's the easiest way. That'll simplify for you, Nigel. It certainly <laughs> does. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So. Um... Yeah, so does the Cyrus family have a kind of plan for world domination? I mean, there's Billy Ray and there's Miley and you guys. Well, you know, considering that they kind of handle the L.A. scene now, we figured that we would go ahead and take over the other part. <laughs> no, no it, you know, it, it's, it's kind of funny. It's just Billy and I, you know, we've wrote songs together. We, we you know, performed together. We've done video together. And, uh, and, and things like that. And it's just, our family's very musical, you know, even we've got a lot of cousins that, um, that didn't pursue it on a professional level, uh, on, on my side, the Cyrus side and a lot of great musicians. My dad was a great poet, great writer. Uh, both of my sisters can play instruments, um, you know, and, and so it's, it's throughout the family. It runs in the blood. And, and a lot of my writing and stuff comes from actually not the Cyrus side, but the Bog side, which was my grandmother who passed away before I was born, my dad's mama. And that whole family was, man, there was a bunch of preachers and singers and songwriters, and musicians. And, and, you know, so it, it comes from a lot of areas and from where we're at Teddy on her side of the family uh, she grew up the same way, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, you can kind of tell about your, your bunch. Yeah, um, I grew up in a very musical family as well. Um, singing, playing instruments. That's just what we do. You know, I was going to say to you actually, or ask you, you know, what your kind of childhood uh, upbringing was, because I've got this kind of theory. Um, I mean, my first kind of real experience of, you know, making serious music, was singing in a cathedral choir when I was seven. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and I haven't stopped making music since. And I think that kind of early experience, whether it's, you know, in a family or, you know, and especially if you're in, uh, in church, it has a huge influence on your kind of, you know, development and you know, future life as, as a musician. And I mean, is, is that what kind of happened for you? There was always music at home. There was always, you know, music in church. You were always singing, always playing. Yes, uh, my grandfather is actually a minister and he's 94 years old and he's still preaching. And that's where we grew up singing in church together, the family, uh, family gospel group. And so I think we started singing when we started talking. <laughs> <laughs> so all of our life really. How was it for you, Bobby? I mean, it was, was it also, you know, you started very young? Yeah, I, I, about the same way, you know, I, my mother got me my first guitar when I was around 13, 14 years old. And when I saw it, I thought, what in the world did she do that for? <laughs> you know, I thought I have no zero interest in that and picked it up and never put it down and just fell in love with it, sang in church. And then, um, I got to experience a lot of good old bluegrass jam sessions in the head of hollers in Kentucky. And that, that was where I learned a lot about a lot of things, <laughs> music life and everything. And, but, but churches like Teddy 
church had a great influence on me as well as a young age. And, um, it's, uh, and it, and thank God that it did. Yes. Thank God my parents, you know, my mother grabbed me by the ear and walked me to the bathroom, <laughs> get in the shower, boy, you're going to Sunday school. And it was, uh, I thank God for that because now it's, you know, the, the life that we, we share together, it's very peaceful and, mm-hmm. and for God. Yes. Yeah. I'm very jealous of that kind of upbringing, you know, bluegrass music out in the hills of Kentucky somewhere, you know, yeah. and, uh, that's something I, I did not have, you know, and, uh, Come to East Kentucky and I'll introduce you to that. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're on. Okay. You got it. Sounds awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get to the music. Uh, now, I got to listen to the new album. It's the title of the album, right? Let's talk about Jesus. Well, that's the new single, the title that we're just self-titled on the uh, album. Okay. So um, is this album actually out now or... The official release for an entire album is April 9th here. Okay. Um, there's only been two releases. That's My Wedding Day was first. And then Let's Talk About Jesus. It was the second release, which was last Monday. Um, so the whole album will be released here April 9th. We're really excited. Uh, have you got anything special planned for that? Well, we're talking about it. We, ha- we haven't got it in uh, in stone yet, as they would mm-hmm. say, but we're uh, we're going to do an album release party uh, where we'll actually do a concert and uh, perform and you know at a theater uh, of some sort uh, we're we're working on that that's in the in the works right now so how is the um how is bluegrass music in the states as a scene i mean is it is it really healthy i love, i mean Forgetting about the pandemic for a moment, I mean, are there plenty of places to play? Do you still have all those lovely festivals? Yeah, b- bluegrass is thriving mm-hmm. more than it ever has, and it's it's crossing all genres of music. Um, you're, it, it's you know, there's been a lot of artists that have taken it to different levels and and to different genres and and it crosses over in country it crosses over in in gospel and and uh, and rock and roll even i mean it's it, it's really in the last i want to say I'm, I'm just throwing a number out there 10 15 years 20 it's it's been incredible how big bluegrass has become it's not just that old mountain music that just your papa and and everybody would listen to of course i you know when i was a kid i remember getting up my grandpa four o'clock in the morning up and out of a holler he had a little old four-room house and i could hear he he heated his house by two fireplaces and he would be up in the morning fixing breakfast and have an eight track of ralph stanley in every morning <laughs> ralph stanley, and, yeah. yeah so you know, so it's, it, yeah, it's, it's got really, uh, it's very, it's a very relevant, it's even on Billboard now here, okay. I mean, Billboard charts and the Grammys have recognized bluegrass mm-hmm. artists and uh, it's, it's just amazing. It really is. If you're out on the road, do you have a regular band that you take with you or are you a kind of duo? Just do what you do. Well, we're definitely a duo, <laughs> ain't we, honey? And uh, we love we love to perform together. Teddy and I are, uh, besides being husband and wife, we're best friends, and we we have a blast together when we're making music. And crowd kind of likes it too. We we get on stage. She loves to use my microphone. <laughs> I don't know why. It can be a sure beta fifty eight. You know, one of the best. It just, sounds better. <laughs> but it doesn't matter where we are. She says, "I want to use your microphone," when I say to myself. <laughs> <laughs> but she always just so she you know we just let her do it but uh we we haven't you know we this record is our first bluegrass um record and so uh we have not of course it was we've been we signed the deal a couple three years ago and we just we done a couple of things with it but there was a lot of life that happened in between that and we're just now getting the album out so we're just now getting to that point to develop Mm -hmm. the band. And we've got some folks we're talking to and we're trying to make up our mind, uh, you know, who we're going to use. And uh, because we're still probably realistically, you know, end of this year, uh, September, maybe 
I think we've got a show book then. Yeah. And uh, but it's going to be that long. So we're just kind of taking our time and trying to help push the record and the singles and uh, and start writing for another one. We're going to start recording another one this year. And she and I are actually going to she she's never really written yet, but we're working on some songs together and we're actually going to produce this co-produce this one Mm -hmm. together, too. And Teddy's got bionic ears. And she's in, in incredible in the studio, and uh, so we're we're really excited to to tackle this one, take a challenge, just just us. Great. Okay, so I think we're coming up to about the end of our time. Um, you should tell him about uh, Send Me Wings and the film festival. Oh, she's talking about. Um, I had a book that I had originally written to be a movie for Billy Ray for a network I won't mention they ended up not doing it and it become a book and it, it's done pretty well and then they made a movie about it a short film and this past week we went to Oklahoma to an international film festival and it won like eight awards wow. and uh, yeah so you can you can check all that out on bobbycyrus.com so um guys thanks so much again for taking the time out to uh, do the interview with us we really really appreciate it well thank you so much and and uh from me and and i appreciate it tell christian i'm I'm pretty sure that back in 2013 or 14 at the country radio seminar i think he interviewed me well thank you so much for your time and doing this with us well as i said thanks to you and wish you all the very best with the album i hope that's really successful it's a great album love Thank listening to so it Thank you and so uh, i'm gonna carry on practicing my guitar picking oh there we go there's a cat tail. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna carry on practicing my bluegrass guitar picking by playing along with your album that's awesome, and, uh, Thank you. That, yeah, I, that's we so feel cool. honored by that yeah that's really cool great okay well, have a nice evening, and uh, God bless you both. God, God bless, bless you, buddy. Thank you Thanks so much. much. Bye-bye. Bye.